Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraAutomation.com and welcome to my all new video series on mocking services with Wiremock.net. And this video is going to be a complete introduction to Wiremock. So what is this Wiremock.net? Well, Wiremock is a flexible and powerful tool for stubbing and mocking HTTP services for testing purposes. It allows you to simulate HTTP responses from real servers, making it ideal for integration testing, end-to-end -end testing and mocking external dependencies in your application. So if you already heard about Wiremock in Java version, Wiremock.net is pretty much exactly the same like Java version, but it is a .NET version basically. There is no big difference between it. At the same time, Wiremock.net supports exactly the same functionality how you do that in Java, but just that it adds more flexibility if you are testing the application in the .NET world and if you need a .NET incarnation of the Wiremock. So that's what this Wiremock.net is all about and it is super powerful. So in a nutshell, if you wanted to know how Wiremock actually works, Wiremock actually is going to be very, very helpful if you are a QA or a developer or a DevOps engineer who wanted to interact with the real APIs from via microservices or smart devices or mobile apps or web apps, you can do it straight away with the Wiremock instead of the real APIs so that you don't really have to have any dependency of the real APIs and you can just use Wiremock to sideload those things for you and then you can test your entire applications with the Wiremock itself. So that is what Wiremock is all about. And it's going to be very, very helpful while you use it during the functional and load testing and integration testing of your application. And we are going to be discussing quite a lot of details about how we can use this Wiremock.net in our integration testing as well as for the functional testing. But before we get into that, first of all, we need to understand the toolings, which is the Wiremock.net itself in a much, much greater level so that we can discuss about how we can integrate the same with the integration testing and for the functional testing. Well, as that said, let's understand what are the features Wiremock.net does offers. Well, Wiremock.net provides the HTTP response stubbing matchable on the URL path, headers, cookies, and body content patterns. A library can be used in unit testing and integration testing, as I told you before. It runs as a standalone process, as a Windows service, and as an Azure IS or as a Docker application, which is pretty cool. And it's configurable via Fluent, c -sharp .NET APIs, JSON files, and JSON over HTTP. It also supports record and playback of stubbing, which is very interesting. I will show you how it can be done. It also supports the per request conditional proxying, which is pretty awesome. And you can also do stateful behavioral simulation, response templating, and can be used locally or in an CICD scenarios, which is awesome. So all these are very, very helpful while we actually do it with our integration testing and with our functional testing using Wiremock.net. And the installation of the Wiremock.net is also very, very straightforward. All you have to do it is just add this Wiremock.net as a library in your Visual Studio project, which you're working with, or if you're using Rider IDE or VS Code, you can just use it pretty much like the installation of any other NuGet packages and you're done. But if you wanted to run the Wiremock.net as a standalone version, you can just use this command .NET add package Wiremock.net.standalone. And this is the latest version as you can see over here. And that's it. This will run the Wiremock in a standalone version as well. And once again, to stress even further with the features of the Wiremock.net, we can run the Wiremock.net in many flavors, like as a .NET tooling, as a standalone process, as a Azure web app, as a Windows service, and also in a Docker container. So these things will make Wiremock more accessible in any of these places so that we can mock the HTTP API that we are trying to and access them from any application from anywhere, as you can see over here. So this is pretty awesome. And in order for you to get started with this entire course, you need to have some prerequisite so that you can get along with this course much, much easily. The first prerequisite is you need to have Visual Studio 2022 VS Code or Rider IDE. You need to have .NET 6 or above. 
you need to have Windows or Mac or Linux operating system because .NET is a cross-platform framework. And also you finally need to have some basic understanding of object-oriented programming and .NET, which will help you throughout this course. And if you think you need to have more understanding about c .NET, I highly recommend you to go through my YouTube channel with c for automation testing playlist, which is gonna give you some understanding of how you can work with c .NET. And it is very, very straightforward. And again, c is very, very easy if you have a good knowledge on any other programming language with oops concept in it pretty much like Java or even Python for that matter that's all this is about the protocol side of this particular course so let's see how we can start installing wiremock.net in our Visual Studio 2022 so for doing that I'm gonna go to my Windows machine over here and I'm gonna open my Visual Studio 2022 I have installed the preview version of Visual Studio 2022 so as you can see, this Visual Studio 2022 preview version is gonna look pretty much exactly the same, at least until this window. But once we get into the project, it is gonna look a bit different. So the first thing which I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna create a new project and I'm gonna choose the project template from here. So basically I'm gonna choose a console application this time instead of using any X unit or the MSS project because I'm gonna show you how the wiremock.net is gonna behave or how you can actually set all the different stubbings in a much, much easier fashion. So I'm gonna choose a console application over here. I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna give a wiremock.net server. So it's just like a, any other project name, you can just give it something like this. I'm gonna hit next. And then I'm gonna choose the framework as the .NET 8 version. So this is the LTS version, and this is the latest and the greatest version at the moment that we have got in the time of recording. I'm gonna hit create over here. This is gonna create a new project for me in the Visual Studio, as you can see over here. And there is a bit of UI change, as you can see over here, because I'm using Visual Studio 2022 preview version. And if you're not using preview version, this UI will be a bit different comparatively. That's all. So this is the project that we have created. And I'm gonna start adding a NuGet package for the wiremock.net itself. So I'm gonna go to the manage NuGet package and I'm gonna go to the browse. I'm gonna search for wiremock. And you will see that we have got the wiremock.net over here. So I'm gonna go hit and I'm gonna hit this install button. And this is gonna install quite a lot of libraries as you can see and I'm gonna hit apply and I accept it. So that's gonna install all the different package for me over here. So the wire mock is currently installed in my machine as you can see over here in my .NET. You can see that it's a package of wire .NET with all these libraries available. So that's the first part of the installation of wire .NET. I guess this is the first start for you to get into the wire mock. And once again, you may be asking, hey Karthik, this is a testing library, right? Why are you creating this on a console project? Why can't you do that with an X unit or N unit or MS test project? Well, again, it's gonna be your choice how you wanted to run the wire mock. Whether do you want to run it as a console application, like a separate library, or do you want to run it as a part of your test, or you want it to run as a Docker container, or even in an Azure function. So it's all, again, up to you how your team is wanting to run the wiremock.net within your project. So for now, just for the getting started purpose, I'm gonna run this as a console application, but moving forward in this course, we are gonna run this whole wiremock.net as a part of an X unit or N unit test project. But for now, this is the introduction, getting started and installation of wiremock.net in a super high level. Catch you in the next one.